Hey everybody, I'm back again with another Gemba Red Light, this time the Gemba Red Spacer. So again, this is going to be one of those smaller red light devices that I'm really loving these days. Those giant panels, I'm just not a fan of anymore. The more I learn about full body red light therapy, you can totally do full body red light therapy with these little lights right here. So just to get into the review of this light and how you might use it. Number one, this is a slightly more advanced version of a smaller red light therapy device. So earlier I did a video on the Gemba Red Vector. The Gemba Red Vector is very similar in size, but you'll notice these lights are different. These bump out. So I think you can see if I do it this way where I tilt it, these lights are bumped out, which is kind of nice because a lot of our blood, the red blood cells can absorb red light and stop it from penetrating deeply. But if you push against the skin, you'll notice that it blanches. That means the blood's moved away. So for skin contact, a light like this with these raised lights, these raised bulbs, when it pushes against your skin, it moves the blood out of the way and can penetrate deeper. So it's a little more advanced from that standpoint from the Gemba Red Vector. The Vector is also not gonna have as many different versions of red and infrared light. So specifically the vector has about one infrared and one red light wavelengths. So those are the, the color spectrum, which is the benefit of the light is the color spectrum. So if you go to a really low wavelength, that's more intense power typically, and that would be like your blues, your violets, things like that. And they have a different effect on the body than reds and infrareds. As we know, infrared light is different than ultraviolet light. And the difference is just the wavelength. So where the Gemba Red Vector had like wavelengths of 670 nanometer red and 810 nanometer infrared, the Gemba Red Spacer has additional LED wavelengths of light specifically 630. So this is going to be in the red, right? So these are the visible wavelengths. 630, 660 nanometer red light. And then the invisible wavelengths are the infrared light, 830, 810, and 850 nanometer. That's the infrared light. And those are the wavelengths, the length between the waves. So those are in nanometers, so it's really tiny, not this tiny, tinier than that, but that is how they measure the type of light is by the wavelength, the, the length between the peak of one wave to the peak of the next wave. That is called the wavelength and it determines the color and the effect of the light on our body. So blue light has one wavelength, red has another, infrared has another, and they all do different things in the body based on the wavelength. So this has a total of five different wavelengths of light in it. It does not have one of those LED readout screens like the Vector had. It looks a little different on the back. The benefit of this, and yes, if you use my discount code SLEEP, you get 10% off and I do get a commission. So I was sent these lights for free to review them for myself and see if I liked them. And I like them so much that I basically am not using any other red lights. A, I like them for the cost because they're a lot less expensive than a full panel red light. Remember the Vector was only $249 retail, 10% off that, and you're like at $225 for a light. Way the heck cheaper and afford more affordable than getting a different version giant panel light for $1,000. The other thing I really liked about these is you can see that the external, not internal, external driver converts the AC electricity to DC so that you can have this electromagnetic electric field. So EMF, there's lots of EMF microwave, there's EMF in the form of electric field, magnetic field, and so on. You can keep the electric field, which is typical in many red lights, we get a lot of these high electric fields from red lights. We can keep that away from us, right? We can put it away from us ourselves. And then the, the light coming out of the, sorry, the cord coming out of here that goes to the light has way less EMF, way, 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 like significantly less. And that's what's close to our body. In fact, we're putting it sometimes on our body, right? 
So the benefit of these lights from Gemba Red, unlike any other light, is that they have an external converter. So what's close to our body is the lowest EMF. And this Spacer version, one of the reasons why I say it's like a little more of an advanced type of light is if you want to use it for skin contact, you, even though it can be used for 10 minutes, you don't want to use it for 10 minutes in one place, one to two minutes at most in each location before you would move it to another location on your body, wherever you want for a total of 10 minutes for full body red light therapy. Yes, you can get full body red light therapy in just this little light. You do not need to cover the whole body with lights everywhere. Now, there's some, some reasons you may want to do that. But in general, for home use, you don't need to get one on the ceiling and the floor and wherever. And you could probably stand on this. I don't know if I would stand. I mean, it feels pretty stout. Like you could probably stand on this and do some foot therapy as well. But I would probably sit on the couch and rest your feet on here. Again, in any one location with skin contact, no more than one to two minutes, 10 minutes total of use, which is why I say this is like a little more of an advanced panel because you do have to be mindful. There's not a timer on here. You have to be mindful to move it around. So set a timer for yourself so you don't get distracted and you have it on yourself for 20 minutes in one spot with skin contact. That would give you the opposite response of what you're looking for. Because with red light, if you get too much of a dose, it starts to produce free radicals, which is starting to damage the body. So on this one, you cannot toggle between just red or just infrared like you could on the vector. On the spacer, there is one switch or button on and off. So I'm going to push that so we can turn the light on, turn the light off. And for some reason, it's not. Oh, it would help if I plugged it in. So now that it's plugged in, now I can turn it on and off and it will work. So don't let that distract you. You can see that there's different colors and different intensities because some are infrared, which is mostly invisible. Some are deep red and some are in the more near red spectrum. So the wavelength determines the color and whether or not you can even see the light. So these will all be on all the time, all five different wavelengths, which you get more wavelengths of light. Again, from the sun, you're going to get all wavelengths of light, but it's from afar. And what we're trying to do is overcome this toxic modern society that we live in. So we need targeted wavelengths of light. And instead of coming from the sun, which is absolutely healing and get as much of it as you can safely, of course, we can now put this, don't look into these lights. They're very intense and you don't want them in your eye. So you never want to look into these lights, um, but you can then, and I'm just showing you like, this is not maybe where you would put it, although you can definitely put it on your skull if you're trying to grow some hair or whatever. Um, but I would usually like lift my shirt up and then put it in my sternum or on my stomach or on my back and lean against it on the couch. Again, one to two minutes is all you want to do. I'm going to turn this off for a sec in each location before you move it somewhere else for another one to two minutes for a total of 10 minutes. Set a timer for yourself every one minute and make sure you're moving this thing around. And after 10 of those timers, you're done because you don't want that effect of starting to cause free radical damage. And you can still get complete full body red exposure, red light therapy with this size device, which is super convenient for traveling as well. And it's got a stand on the back. So you can think about like, setting this up in your hotel room and it just sits on the little stand. You can set it up back there and it'll just stand there. And now you can light up your hotel room without any overhead blue frequency wavelength lights. And those are the lights that are going to destroy melatonin where red and infrared do not. So you can set this up in your bathroom at the hotel and take a shower at night without being in the dark and without having all those crazy bright insane lights on in your hotel or Airbnb or wherever, keep next to your couch, which is what we do. And then we just keep it plugged in and we'll pull it up when we're sitting on the couch, reading a book or sitting in the morning, doing our journaling. And we'll just put it behind us on our back or on our shoulder or, you know, behind our head, wherever we need it, we'll get intensified targeted therapy in that location, but it will also give you full body red light therapy for the whole body. And again, on a light like this, this is beautiful that these are bumped out, but again, one, two minutes is all you want to use in each specific location. 
or use it for about like three to five minutes, about 12 inches, six to 12 inches away if you just want skin benefits. Remember, you're going to reflect a lot of the light off the skin, but you're still going to get skin benefits. You just won't get as deep a penetration if you're using it at a distance. So if you want those skin benefits, just use it from further away. That's where that stand might be really helpful. The other really interesting thing about the Gemba red lights, also the fact that they're really the least expensive lights on the market for what you get, is because of the way that you set up the driver and the LEDs, is there low to no flicker. So flickering LEDs can be stressful to the body. The Gemba red lights have a specific way to set the driver up and the DC current so as they don't flicker. And yes, you can go onto the GembaRed.com website and you can look all those specifications up. You can use a slow motion camera and you can check to make sure that these are not flickering. And I do think that that is important. While there may be some benefits to pulsed red light therapy, that is still under debate. And we do know that certain flicker rates can really stress the body and even cause migraines. Like when you sit under those lights at work that are fluorescent or LED nowadays and they flicker, some of them hum and you can hear it audibly. Others, you don't notice the flicker with your eyes, but your brain recognizes that flicker and it causes stress and sometimes headaches for people. So when you're doing therapeutic red light usage, you don't want that flicker. And that's what I love about Gemba Red is they really did their homework on EMF flicker using these DC cords so the EMF is even lower and wherever possible cutting out fans in the back, which create a magnetic field. So this light is the Gemba Red Spacer, five different wavelengths of red and infrared light total, bumped out on the lens so you can put it against your body and it's heavy, much heavier than the vector, but very portable. Carry this around with you anywhere. So the fact that you can get deeper penetration with these bumped out lights and with the skin contact in the right intensity is really critical. A lot of the companies are just say, thinking and saying that higher intensity is always better, and that is not the case with red light therapy. So check out the Gemba Red Spacer and use discount code SLEEP for 10% off on GembaRed.com. Highly recommend these.